The World Health Organization has set an aim to halve the number of dengue deaths by 2020. In the last 50 years, there's been a 30-fold increase in infections. A vaccine could help meet that goal, but the search has been painfully slow. With any infectious diseases, we have a degree of protection afterwards, so we don't get disease again and we're protected. In dengue, after your first infection, which in many countries is as a child, you then get second infection a few years later, and that second infection is more severe. That's very unusual, and it's specific to dengue. When you're infected with dengue, dengue 1, you make antibodies to that dengue 1 virus. Those antibodies can kill the dengue 1 virus. But if you're then infected with a dengue 2 or a dengue 3 or a dengue 4 virus, those antibodies sort of recognize that virus as part of the dengue family, but they can't kill the virus. In any potential vaccine for dengue, the strains compete, with one tending to become dominant. So getting the balance right is extraordinarily hard. A vaccine for dengue has been a very hard nut to crack mostly because you need to make four vaccines because there's four different types of dengue. You can't just make a vaccine for dengue one, dengue two, dengue three, or dengue four. It's gotta be a four in one vaccine. You have to develop basically a four combination vaccine from the start because all four dengue viruses are responsible for dengue epidemics and even the severe form of the disease that could be uh, lead to hospitalization and to death. To find a vaccine against one virus can take 10 years. We're trying to find a vaccine against four viruses, and then we're trying to have those four individual vaccines be put together into one vaccine and still work as well. 